Here we have three Linux machines set up in VirtualBox, uh, a client, a router and a server. Let's learn a little bit about some Linux uh, networking commands starting with ifconfig. My virtual network or my uh, network between those Linux machines inside VirtualBox is shown in this picture where the client and the router are on some virtual LAN, net A, the router and server on a separate LAN, net B, and they've been set up and the IP addresses are allocated to different interfaces. There's also a NAT interface on each of those Linux machines so that they have real internet access uh, via VirtualBox and via my real PC. So let's look at the client first and we'll use ifconfig to uh, see information about my interface configuration. So my network interface configuration, when we run ifconfig on its own, it shows me the list of uh, interfaces which are enabled or, or turned on or referred to by ifconfig as up, up and running. And it shows there are three, ENP0S3, ENP0S8, and LO, loopback interface. Uh, if we just change the font to be a little bit larger we can see that in a bit more depth uh, and we can scroll through so for each interface ifconfig shows us some information about that interface uh, and we'll look at one of those in depth in a moment uh, we can pass in one of the interface names as an option ifconfig ENP0S8, I know that exists and it shows me the details for that interface. So what does it tell me? Uh, we'll go through some of this information. It tells me this is an Ethernet interface. It has a, a hardware address or a MAC address of this particular value. And since we're using VirtualBox, that is actually assigned by VirtualBox. In a real uh, computer, that would be the, the address assigned to your Mac or your LAN card. We have an IPv4 address, an internet address, 192.168.1.11, an associated broadcast address, a network mask for that IPv4 address. In my case, these were set up when the machine booted from a different location. We can also manually set them using ifconfig and other uh, processes. I have an IPv6 address, although it's not a global address, it's a link local address and that's been allocated automatically. We're not going to touch IPv6 at this stage, we will at a later stage. A bit of information about the status of the interface, it is up, up means it's, it's turned on, it's running. Uh, it supports broadcast, multicast uh, and it has a maximum transmission unit of 1500 bytes some statistics about how many packets have been received and transmitted on this interface, collisions, a queue length, and the bytes received and transmitted. So some basic information about your interface and some statistics can be obtained using ifconfig. When we run ifconfig, it shows all up interfaces. In the man page for ifconfig, it's got several options and we can read through one of them we'll use commonly as minus a so i have config minus a shows us all interfaces those that are up and also down now in this case it is no different all of my interfaces are actually up but if there were some interfaces which were not up which were down then they would be shown when we use i have config minus a so we can use ifconfig to show interface configuration. We can also use it to change interface configuration. Uh, for example, we can turn an interface uh, up or down. I'll just clear that. ifconfig enp0s8 is my one of my interfaces. If I want to turn it down, I can type the option command uh, down. Noting that if we want to make changes to the network configuration, we'd need to have administrator rights. So I'll proceed that with sudo. And 
ask for my password, which I have, and now I run IF config. It lists ENP0S3, which is up, my loopback interface, which is up, and it doesn't list ENP0S8, it's down. If I add the minus A option, all, it does include ENP0S8, and it's not listed as up and running here. Whereas the first one was up, here we don't list up, so EMPS, ENP0S8 is down, it's not turned on. We cannot use it. We can turn it back up, as you may guess. It's now up and running. So we can turn an interface off if we don't need it, uh, and turn it back on if it was originally off. You can also uh, make changes to the addresses used by the interface. I'm currently using the address 192.168.1.11. We'll clear that. We can change the interface configuration of ENP0S8. And we can check, set the address, let's say 1.12. And I should specify the net mask. And it's good practice when you change the address to make sure the interface is up. It's not needed, but I'll include it at the end to, to say, let's, if it was down before, let's turn it up. If it was up before, then it makes no difference. And we note that we've now changed the IP address of that interface. So we can change the configuration of the interface using ifconfig as well as view basic information. We will see if we go to our router. There's just another quick example. I have config on the router. Quite simply it shows us that we have three Ethernet interfaces, the NAT interface, and then it's because it's a router on network A and network B, it has ENP0S8 an EMP0S9 and different IP addresses. And the loopback interface is for testing purposes, normally for communicating with yourself, to send to yourself with the, the local loopback address of 127.0.0.1. So ifconfig is a quick way to view interface information and to make changes to the IP address for your interface.